Imagine the implications of a weapon with no visible trace, a weapon that could knock out tanks, ships, and planes as fast as the speed of light. The same technology with modifications could disorient and even tranquilize military personnel, rendering them virtually helpless in the battle zone. These are the new weapons of war we will examine in this series. Lightning is the most dramatic form of energy to be found in nature. Scientists have succeeded in creating limited types of artificial lightning, and some think that these could be the forerunners of a new type of directed energy weapon, part of a family of weapons which operate within the radio frequency segment of the electromagnetic spectrum, and are thus referred to as radio frequency weapons. Dr. James Frazier has researched electromagnetic effects for the Air Force for over 10 years, and he, like a small but growing number of weapons experts, feels that radio frequency, or RF weapons, could be the wild card in the ongoing arms race. You could have tremendous amounts of radiative power, and uh, what you did with that power then is a matter of engineering design and what, what your goal is. Robert Bass, a physicist and PhD in mathematics, is working on U.S. weapons research. He says that the Soviets seem to be ahead in a number of areas, and especially in RF weapons. We are behind uh, the Soviet Union in directed energy weapons based on 60 gigahertz microwave beams. Dr. Bass and others feel the most likely form of Soviet RF weaponry would be high-powered microwaves, similar to a focused ultra-high intensity radar beam. It would literally cook humans and knock out computers and electronic surveillance and communications gear. Active denial technology uses radio frequency millimeter waves at a frequency of 95 gigahertz. Traveling at the speed of light, the millimeter wave directed energy engages the subject, penetrating the skin to a depth of only about 1 64th of an inch. The beam produces an intolerable heating sensation, compelling the targeted individual to instinctively move. For the military, active denial technology can be used for both force application and force protection missions. Applications include crowd control, perimeter security, patrol and convoy protection, and other defensive and offensive operations from both fixed site or mobile platforms. big game changer is that 5G will use much higher frequency bands than previously thought viable for mobile broadband and other applications. Such millimeter wave signals have physical properties that are both a limitation and a strength. They tend to travel best in narrow and straight lines and they do not go through physical objects as well. But brilliant engineers have developed new antennas that can aim and amplify signals. Now to make this work, five, the 5G build-out is going to be very infrastructure intensive, requiring massive deployment of small cells. I'm confident that the actions will lead to a cornucopia of unanticipated innovative uses and will generate tens of billions of dollars in economic activity and that's damn important because it means that u.s companies will be the first out of the gate and that is why 5g is a national priority and stay out of the way of technological development While the active denial system advanced concept technology demonstration succeeded in demonstrating a large-scale version of active denial technology, a smaller scale, more mobile version is being developed by the U.S. Army and the DOD's non-lethal weapons program utilizing solid-state technology. This system will demonstrate and prove out the critical technologies for a follow-on tactical system which will be an adjunct system that can be installed on a range of tactical or support vehicles. It will have an azimuth drive for full 360 degree coverage, e-steering and azimuth for fine steering control and full e-steering and elevation. 
with an invisible beam, speed of light targeting, and silent operation. It can be used in a wide range of operations, such as enhanced combat mobility in dense urban areas where it quickly and safely moves civilians obstructing vehicle mobility. Or it can be used to safely deter unarmed but suspicious civilians observing U.S. forces. At entry control points, it provides an additional layer of response for dealing with potentially threatening targets and potential crowd violence. It can be quickly de-escalated by targeting the leader or, if necessary, by panning across the entire crowd while armed individuals mixed in a crowd can be engaged without risk to surrounding civilians. Since the beam can penetrate window glass, it can also be used for non-lethal engagement of suspicious vehicles potentially threatening U.S. forces. The SS-80T will be a lightweight, non-kinetic, non-lethal anti-personnel system providing an alternative to lethal force.